All right, so because we're flipping this about x, uh, or well, y equals negative one, this changes things a little bit. So first, we just want to find what the area is, um, what it would be. So it's going to be a to the x. Um, so flipping it about there, so times pi, which is one plus one over x squared minus one. Well, one squared, but just one. So what this is, is this plus one is moving this up, one, uh, shifting this from where it's rotating one. So we get that, but then the minus one is uh, subtracting this area when it gets flipped around. So that way it becomes a washer. This is the best I can explain it. So, okay. So multiplying this out, um, we end up with ultimately a the x is equal to pi and rewriting this with negative exponents, x to the negative two plus two x to the negative one. All right, so integrating this, um, so we're going to go from one to three. It's gonna be volume is equal to the integral from one to three of pi x to the negative two plus two x to the negative one dx. All right, moving on, we get um, Integrating this, so we get pi negative x to the negative one plus two natural log of absolute value of x. Well, that's the integrated portion of it. So we go from one to three is equal to pi times quantity negative one third plus two ln three plus one minus two ln one. Distributing everything out, so forth, volume is gonna be equal to pi two-thirds plus two ln three. That's it.